Hello, I'm Andy Wysislo, agronomist with Waypoint Analytical. Collecting plant tissue samples in most cases falls under two categories. First would be collecting a sample to diagnose an obvious problem. This could be a visual deficiency symptom or another issue that you're seeing in the field that you may or may not be sure what's going on. You should also take a sample from an adjacent part of the field that's not visibly affected. This allows you to compare the two results and determine if the same problem exists elsewhere, but at a lower level that's not yet obvious. It's also a good idea to take a soil sample from each area at the same time to see if soil fertility is the cause of the problem. The other situation which is most common is taking tissue samples throughout the season to monitor a crop for its nutrition levels. This process involves collecting samples from fields on a regular basis throughout the growing season, allowing you to confirm that your nutrition program is working and to make sure your crop is not suffering from hidden hunger. You should collect one sample for at least every 20 to 40 acres with tissue collected at different points across that area. Since crop nutrient requirements change as the crop matures, you should also always note the growth stage for all samples. This way we can give you the proper nutrient sufficiency ranges on your reports. So the number of leaves you collect for each sample will vary depending on growth stage, crop size, crop type, but in general you want to collect enough tissue that when you wad it up into a ball it's about the size of a softball. That will give us enough tissue to analyze in the lab because most of your crop is water and when we dry it it shrinks down into a smaller amount. So after you've collected the tissue you want to make sure you put it in a paper bag. Paper is important so the plant can breathe and not collect moisture inside a plastic bag which would mold. Waypoint can supply tissue bags, boxes, shipping labels and other supplies to you if necessary. So after you have it in your paper bag you want to make sure it's labeled very clearly and that you understand where each sample came from within your fields. But you also want to make sure that sample matches what you submit on a plant tissue information sheet that you'll send into the lab as well. So after all that is completed, you'll put your samples and your paperwork in the box and ship it to your nearest Waypoint lab. You can find your nearest lab as well as other information on tissue sampling and other agronomy tips at our website www.waypointanalytical.com.